What is up, everybody? It is easy. Your host for today, this morning. It's wicked early in the morning, and uh, this is not clickbait. You heard it right. It is Barbarian Clan, which is not even their name. Barbarian Party <laughs> First Damage Inc. Awesome matchup for us. We we're really excited to, to play such a good clan, and we got our asses handed to us. Just to tell you right up front. Uh, <laughs> Outmatched from the from from top to bottom. These guys are just awesome. Um, I guess there's a reason why Cam has uh, a million and a half subs. Um, I I actually got to watch some. I went and watched some of his uh, some of his stuff again. Done it. Watched him probably about a hundred times in the past. But decided to watch him again before we before we reward with his clan. And I watched him do a bunch of live attacks. I mean that's, that's there's some hard that's hard to do. So. Hats off to their guys. These guys had some of the hardest bases that we have ever fought against. Um, we don't lose by 10 on, <laughs> on such a small war. 53 to 43 is such a huge gap in the score. So what I decided to do, instead of just our normal um, replays, we attacked the same base right here. It took us three attempts to, to finally three-star this base. This was one of the only three stars we got on Town Hall 9. I'll show you how we did it. Um, this first attack right here was from Third Man. Third Man is from our feeder clan. Uh, did, did a great. He really did a good job. Um, didn't three star. He's one of our up and coming players. Uh, comes in with a Laloon. And what I wanted to show everyone is, you know, there were there were some mistakes made. For example, right here, he comes in all from one side with with the balloons in the back on the back end of this attack, and didn't have a poison left. And they had, you know, the, the traps came up and just ate away at those balloons and didn't make it around the whole base. Should have probably ha tried a surgical deployment on those balloons. Um, but this was the first attempt on this base. We didn't know what was going on. There ended up being Teslas up in that top area. Which, you know, you're looking at it, you can kind of tell that there's something up there. There's, there's a reason why they have a ton of buildings up top. These, these bases that are backed up against the corner... Um, a lot of times these bases are built by people that don't know what they're doing because you know, they're thinking the mountains are going to protect them That was not the case. He knows exactly what he's doing uh, This is the second attack on the same base by oh, Yuki, I guess his name is And uh, this is by one of our new guys. His name's Omer and uh, Done real well for us so far in the time hall 9 position. Um, this is his favorite attack. It's the Gova we I guess you call it <laughs> Uses wizards instead of witches, which is uh, not really in the meta right now. But I've seen him do this attack a bunch of times. He's really good with it. Uh, what he decides to do now is he's going to he's going to plow through the base with the Valkyrie. He's going to come up through the bottom part, kind of just like uh, Third Man did. Pulls out the Clan Castle troops, deals with the Clan Castle troops, kind of in motion. Which um, he didn't get beat up too bad with that. Uh, the, he handles the clan cast troops pretty well. Valkyries come up into the core of the base and and take out the core of the base really well. Uh, only problem with this is just a little carelessness on the planning. And, and it's not. I'm not gonna. I'm not putting uh, Omer down. It's this is a great base design. You. I mean, look at it. It, it doesn't look like anything of a base, but it is actually a great base design. Um, it, it was very difficult to to have enough troops to get through the core of the base and then still be able to manage that top end which that top end has the Teslas and a couple mortars that, that are protecting the Teslas so he decides to come in the top end and he puts in a, uh, like a big line of wizards to walk across the top end he timed it to where the the barbarian king kind of tank forms get the queen inside also helping out but the timing was just a little bit off and the king got out in front, uh, did did manage to tank for the wizards a little bit, but the, the king ends up going down. Uh, level 17 king, so uh, he's got a little ways to go with the king still. Queen didn't quite have enough legs to make it through it, and I mean he was just a little off on, on taking that base out. So, what we decided to do is send Weppo, who's number 18 in the war, two from the bottom, but he is one of our, um, one of Creeper's accounts, and... Weppo was actually one of, one of, I think it was his nephew's account, who was in the clan for a long time, great kid. Well, Creeper took over the account, and he has stayed at the Town Hall 9, I believe, and, and, and kind of pushed his troops up ahead. 
and it's kind of we've had to do that in, in to try to combat some of the engineer clans now I will say this uh, with barbarian party there is no engineering on barbarian party they are 100% fair play, fair play clan um, really proud of, of how well that clan is put together uh, Cam's done a great job with that clan with uh, with managing them the, the base designs are just incredible uh, so anyway yes there's a grand warden coming across the top of this town hall nine in order to take care of it we, I mean this is how good some of these nines were if you if you remember the beginning uh, of the video I kind of scrolled down through all the nines I think we three star three of their nines I mean three and we have all of our town hall nines three star regularly every, every war I mean we have a couple guys that um, they average probably 5.75 stars a war they six pack almost every war they weren't able to three star so this is what I've been doing this is the website uh, www.clashmadeeasy.com it is the kind of second generation website we had a damage ink website which uh, I don't know if you've ever heard the story on this I'll tell you real briefly we started off just because we wanted to talk to other clans in war so we had a chat on our website so uh, that advanced into having a guide because we had to go to the wikis and they were always wrong uh, they're a lot better now but they weren't back then so we decided to make our own guide and uh, three years later I finally finished it and then came out to build a base and so now we have our own we, we, we built an entire website just as a guide it's, it's huge it's huge guys I mean it has everything in the world on it um, we just went through the base weight page uh, we've got every single troop every single de every defense this is the live stream page right here uh, we've tried to collect everything that we enjoy going and finding on the internet that that clashers want and kind of put it all in one page you can see all the different uh, topics all the different all the different things here it's just tons of information all in one spot so uh, go check it out again www.clashmadeeasy.com uh, okay so we're gonna get into a couple of the three stars we did have a couple of them uh, the, the the top end of their clan wasn't quite as um, as overpowering as the Town Hall Nines. Uh, they I mean they were overpowering the Town Hall Nine position. They wiped us out in the Town Hall Nine position. And it's like damn. Uh, now this is uh, Kenny, uh, our number three versus their number four, both Town Hall Elevens. And I believe this Town Hall Eleven may, is is kind of like mine. I don't I just got to Town Hall Eleven, so I don't have the Eagle Artillery yet. So he's at number four because he doesn't have the Eagle yet. So it was a lot easier for Kenny to manage this attack. Kenny, he attacks Town Hall 11s every war. So to, to attack a Town Hall 11 without the Eagle Artillery, you know, it's a pretty big advantage. I wanted to attack number 4 because he wiped my base like uh, like I was a Town Hall 7. <laughs> so thanks a lot for that, um, Abdullah. So, Kenny comes across. He's, had, he, he's been using this Witch Slap now for, I don't know, the last two months. And... Um, He's got this thing down to a science. I uh, used the ability really well. Now, I'm just now a Town Hall 11. I, I think um, I've got my fifth attack recorded in this video. And for anyone that doesn't, that's not an 11, let me tell you right now getting these troops inside this ability is not an easy thing. Uh, these 11s make it look so easy, it's not. Um, I usually get about three troops inside the ability. And usually there are three troops that are traveling to some kind of off defense or trash building. <laughs> um, to actually get all the troops in the ability in a, in a spot where it's, where it's valuable, I, I'm still learning how to do that. So um, hats off to these guys that have just done so well. Um, you really learn how to appreciate. You really get some appreciation, some perspective once you make it to Town Hall 11. I, I pushed my way all the way to, to level 5 on the Warden right away so I could use the ability as such a powerful tool. Um, the Warden changes the whole game for you, it, it does for me. Um, but I still don't know how, don't play with the Warden worth a damn. <laughs> so, Kenny gets his way through this base pretty easily. Um, got max walls in the middle. Uh, so, let's touch up on these walls. Uh, I'm, I don't think it's an accident. I think they knew what they were doing. Um, I'm going to, now. When I say Cam's clan, this is the Barbarian Party, and uh, Cam. For for those of you who don't know, he's just a, he's a little YouTuber with like 1.7 million subscribers. So I mean, he giant representative uh, to the game and to the other YouTubers out there. Uh, 
really nice guy. Don't know him personally. Been watching his channel for a long time. Got to play his clan. They, you know, it was just a, a real, overall, yeah, we got our asses handed to us, but it was still a really great experience for the guys. Everyone was excited to play him. Um, but they, now they have been really smart with the way they've upgraded their bases. Now, granted, there's no lopsided bases in the clan. Now they have, they have taken their time with some of the defenses and gone and done the walls first and all of the walls and all the knives were maxed and I'll be the first one to testify that made it so difficult to attack these bases you had to have some kind of plan for every wall because if you didn't have a plan for a wall and you were chopping through your walls that was the end of the attack right there at that wall uh, it doesn't matter I mean, if you didn't have a rage spell for the, for the troops to rage through the wall or you didn't have a jump spell to go over it or you didn't earthquake through it, you were then stuck on that wall. These max walls are no joke. They, you will be stuck on them if you don't have some kind of plan for them. Okay, so this is my this is my attack. I waited and waited and waited. We were getting hammered. And it's finally within the last hour I decided to attack. Um, I dropped down to number 6. He was a Town Hall 10. So I'm a Town Hall 11, but look at this ability though. Um, my best ability to date. Farming and war both put together. That's the first time I actually got more than three troops in the ability. I'm kind of proud of myself on that. Uh, so I also used a slap. Um, the very first thing we had that we had this um, this gem pack that came because it was a, a clash anniversary or whatever you however you say it. So it was clashes anniversary. They gave us this awesome gem pack for twenty bucks. I, I got like uh, I don't know um, ten million um, of everything. Decided to. Uh, push push my bowlers up to max so I have max bowlers and so I'm now I'm using these max bowlers I'm using them in every attack and war right now and they are the, what a big difference it is between uh, level 2 bowlers and max bowlers it doesn't look diff much different on the stat sheet but they play a lot different and they just powered right through this base and again at that last wall, um, I was I was chopped at that wall. If there was a defense behind it, it would have killed everything. But I chopped at it, chopped at it, and chopped at it. The king is still up there chopping away at these walls. These walls are just unbelievable. But had enough time. They, they were pretty smart with these Teslas. You know, I, I'm kind of um, I'm I'm apprehensive about putting Teslas in the corner. I feel like you know I I, I personally prefer the Tesla farms. But they had Teslas in the corners. They had Teslas in all these odd places, and it really hurt us, man. It really did. Uh, so, number one versus number two, Bulldog versus Cam Camaro Bro, also known as Clash with Cam, Cam. and just out to Cam, I, I I really was debating on whether or not to even show his base because you know I, I don't I don't really want to show people's bases. I usually don't care about other people's clans, but this particular person has uh, a pretty big name and face in the in, the, in the Clash. But then I started thinking about it and. We're not going to show any weaknesses on his base. This thing is so damn strong. Um, we're, not, we're not exposing anything, trust me. Uh, Bulldog, ha he's one of the best attackers we've ever had in the clan. He's three-starred regularly. I mean, such a strong player. Um, he was really looking forward to this attack and wanted to really show his stuff. And this base was tough, man. Um, so he comes in, he, he earthquakes the, the top compartment to try to get a better, uh, better angle on Town Hall. And... Uh, Got lava hound and balloon come out of the clan castle. The eagle artillery was is dead slap in the middle of that giant that giant glob of, of buildings. There's no getting to it at all. Um, I made a joke that you could have queen walked down through the bottom part, the bottom right hand part of the screen right here. But if you had a seven minute time limit, there's so many buildings down there. But he manages to get into. He didn't didn't get a funnel down right, um, which was unfortunate. Didn't get the funnel down quite right. Gets down, gets Town Hall with all the witches. The witches spawn a million skeletons. He gets Town Hall, but um, as soon as he gets Town Hall, the Eagle Artillery uh, targets all those bowlers. The bowlers go down really fast, and that's that's the end of the attack. 43%, 44%, one star. Uh, nothing to be ashamed of. Uh, but, you know, one stars are not. No, no one wants a one star. But when you're when you're playing against such a strong opponent, man. So the war is over. Barbarian Party versus Damage Inc. We had to fight Barbarian Party during the Barbarian Party event too. 
it was a setup it was a setup no got our asses kicked but we had a great time um hats off to all the guys over at barbarian party what a pleasure it was to war against those guys great clan uh so last little mention of the website got the ultimate guide to clash of clans we really really want you to come and visit this site spent a lot of time on it i've spent the last three months on it i have made four videos in three months i have been working and just steadily working on this website um we have information from every single source that i could get my hands on combining them all into one site all these charts that you see these are not copy and pasted from another site these are all created by us all the stats were all put in to all these you know we, we just made all the stuff just for you because you're gonna ask questions about mostly about your base weight and, and what to upgrade next that this is what we focus on in the site so like the video if you like the video sub to easy street gaming go check out clash made easy great site until next time it's been easy take care everybody